Hi, my name is Lewis Getz. Uh, I've been going to the NAS here for about five years. Um, but before this, um, there was a time where I really felt that God was through with me, that he didn't love me. Um, matter of fact, I felt that the devil had me and there was no turning back from that. In my past, um, I would say that I've been involved with gangs, um, uh, selling drugs. Um, I've even been to jail. Um, just in that lost, hopeless state, um, just looking for something, not too sure what it was. And, um, and the devil actually used alcohol to comfort me through all this. And um, there was a time to where alcohol actually put me to sleep because at night I couldn't sleep. Because at night I would just close my eyes and I'd see people crying and it just, I couldn't sleep. It was a real scary thing for me. and. It just wouldn't go away. The only way it would go away is when I would drink, and I would drink myself to sleep almost every single night. As I was going through all these things, um, my wife had talked about in the past how she wanted to go to church, and there was a Mother's Day um, that my mother asked uh, for Mother's Day if me and my wife could go to church with her. So um, we went, and um, I think... Uh, my wife, she, you know, really enjoyed it, um, but I was still in there and really felt like uh, it wasn't for me, that uh, that God was still through with me. I mean, this was for other people. This isn't for people like me, you know, that done so many things and uh, been places where I didn't want to be. In fact, I'd be in church and my mind was somewhere else where it shouldn't have been. Um, and then about a month went by. Um, maybe a month, six weeks went by, and I go into church, and that day just felt very different. Um, that day I walk into the doors, and um, tears started coming to my eyes, and I just didn't understand because that wasn't me, and that wasn't the type of person that I've been, so I wasn't too sure what was going on, and, um, and then there was a sermon, and it was on Luke 23, 43, and it was about the thief on the cross and I really took some time to actually listen and I really felt like I was that man that was next to Jesus and felt like I had <clears throat> nothing to offer and there I was and I was just like hey man when you get there remember me and at that moment I really realized that God did remember me and he was touching my heart at that moment. Since that day, um, my life's been a lot different. Um, the Lord has freed me from so much. And, you know, uh, people in my life, um, He's freed me from alcoholism. Um, I'm able to sleep at night now. Um, do not need alcohol to fall asleep. Um, he has me working full time at a wonderful job, um, going to school now. Uh, blessed me with two beautiful children. Um, he's done so much. And, you know, if you're just sitting there thinking right now that the, that God is done with you, um, I'm telling you right now that you're wrong. Um, the Lord is never through with you. I mean, he's still, he's still seeking me right now and um, still showing me every day how much he loves me. And you just got to take that time just to listen to when he calls. Life, death, cure.